I suggested it around 34 bucks. So I do have a couple of shares around 34 bucks, but I've been buying all the way down. It's a dividend stock. It's in the insurance industry. Headquarters Randor PA. Now, this was at 34 bucks. The PE ratio was at minus uh, 2.9x. Again, that's very undervalued. At 34 bucks, I might add, that's what it was. But now at 20 bucks, that PE ratio is even more negative. I don't know it right off the bat. Um, the debt to equity is a little high, but that's okay. They have a lot of cash on hand for the dividend as we're going to go over. Um, 2.91. We want it under one, uh, under two, but uh, you know sometimes you have to make some exceptions. And now the dividend yield when I uh, when I uh, when I recommended it was at four buck four uh, percent at 34. Now it's sitting at 8.7 percent because it's at 20 bucks. As you see, this is what I have in it about 400 bucks. I'm still buying. I bought some on, on Friday at the close. Uh, I believe long-term this will do well. And then uh, this has been its uh, stock chart. It's through its whole lifespan, but these, it hasn't seen these levels since COVID during the COVID crash where it hit like 17 bucks. Um, but I have a pretty good pr presentation on it. And this is what some gematria I have. LNC stock 2024, because I'm buying now for 2024. 300 and uh, 333 in uh, English reduction. Lincoln Financial, Saturn and Pisces, 137 uh, reduction. Cronus and Pisces, insurance, insurance industry, 333 in reverse ordinal. Then we have LNC, Cronus and Pisces uh, orientation, Saturn and Pisces, Pisces, Cronus and Pisces orientation, um, 333 English ordinal. Ellen G. Cooper is the CEO. She became the CEO last May 2022. She was already a uh, part of the executive board. And I think she made some good, pretty good decisions on canceling the share buy buybacks for now for, um, you know, the economic times that were going ahead. But she has, uh, Ellen G. Co Cooper will be good CEO for LNC 322 English Ordinal, like Skull and Bones 322, or in reverse 223 much like 2023, the year we're in. Um, and here are some uh, article notes that I pulled for Lincoln Financial. And this is from um, Seeking Alpha. The, pro the company provides a variety of insurance and retirement solutions to individuals and groups in the United States and stands to benefit greatly from rising interest rates. The PE ratio in 2023, it should say, is uh, 3.6. They uh, they recommended this article at about thirty six bucks. Um, the stock is an excellent buy because its earnings per share are expected to rise in the coming years as interest rates rise. The company has a consistent growing dividend and has increased its dividend per share for a long time. It increased it again last month to forty five cents per share. Even even during economic hard times with the stock, it increased its dividend. Share repurchases have reduced the number of shares outstanding, increasing shareholder value. It's not doing that anymore, um, but it does have a, a nice price valuation now. Um, let's see. Let's just go to the vi the financials. So the assets and liabilities is four point one billion. All right, and so while it's sitting at twenty bucks right now, I did quick math at twenty five dollars share price. The market cap is four point twenty three billion, and so we're under. Uh, market value right now, in my opinion. And so we have enough cash on hand for dividend payout and growth. Now, look at this. If we go to the bottom here, you see their free cash flow. Their free, free cash flow is $2.23 billion. All right. So when we go to their dividend payout, which is uh, 45 cents per share, that's $1.80 uh, $1. uh, yearly. So one, uh, uh, $1.80 times the uh, shares outstanding of uh, 1.6, uh, 169.2 million uh, shares. That's $304.5 million in yearly dividend payments. You see, they have enough cash on hand to continue that dividend. Um, and so for me, I've been buying. I like, I've been liking what I've seen. And what I also understand is they got caught up with the Silicon Valley situation. Um, because they had about ninety million dollars in the as a bond in that bank, so that's part of the, another reason why it went down in share price um, because of Silicon Valley. And you have to understand, okay, they lost uh, ninety million due to Silicon Valley. 
Silicon Valley was a top 20 bank before it went down. And so as a, a conservative financial insurance company, you're going to at least spread around on banks, right? And so I'm happy to see that the damage is only 90 million, you know. That's I feel like that's par for course if you're a, uh, a company like that to have that much money in a top 20 bank. So I'm not too worried about that. Now, an issue could come in is if we continue to have bank failures and they continue to pile up different um, impairment costs due to these banks. Um, but, you know, it's a risk that I'm willing to take for uh, for the, the portfolio. Again, risk management. It may be my core holding in the portfolio, but I just, you know, I have a lot of conviction in it by the numbers. Um, well, shoot, that was the presentation. We can just get into Q&A discussion a couple minutes early and I can look at the charts. If you want me to guys, if you guys want me to pull up any charts or any other stocks, we can do that as well. Um, so, yep, I'm just going to open it up now. Anybody have any questions? Hey man, thank you so much for walking us through this. This is actually a freaking pretty helpful. I um I did think the last stock you just brought up. Yeah. You said that Ratio is like 3.577 or something. No, let me go back I right now. LNC's. So when I, so when I, like when way higher than two or something like that, I think that you said you're in. Oh, so with this article in Seeking Alpha, this was like in uh, January. This was like in January. So this was before, okay. this was before I got in. I got in um, LNC like February. So um, that's when they were sitting at like 36, 38 bucks. And that's when their P8 ratio was starting to go up. But um, okay. there's other, you know, there's people use, uh, people look at earnings because it's price to earnings ratio. Um, so people, when they look at earnings, they sometimes have different calculations. So if, say if you go to um, Yahoo Finance or Thinkorswim, they'll have kind of varying um uh, PE ratios based off whatever right. they calculate off of. Um, it's almost like a little window, huh? Yeah, it's like a window. So, uh, but it's sitting, it's sitting way below that now, though, because it's at twenty bucks. So the price is way below that, and its earnings has, you know, pretty much stayed what it was. Um, but the issues with this stock right now was the Silicon banking thing, and nobody. I mean, is insurance an attractive industry to invest in during a bear market? Like. So that's why I'm in it because, um, you know, you just sit on it, you accumulate at low prices. And when the day comes, the day comes. Oh, and what I want to do is I actually want to pull up the stock, the, the stock uh, chart for this on Yahoo Finance. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen to get to another one. Hold up. I'm share screen tab. All right. So do you see this uh, Yahoo Finance screen? Yep. Okay. Awesome. All right. So I have the five-year chart on it for Yahoo Finance. You see where it's at right here. It's at 20 bucks. But you see for the last, you know, since 2015, it's been trading, shit, dude, pretty much above, above 50 the whole time besides a couple times. Um, and also it had... It's crash in 2020, but everybody had that crash, and then it went on a run back up to what it was trading at before. And in a lot of cases, I feel like we're in a situation with the markets where it's kind of like um, COVID again. Um, the markets are trash. Um, so again, with risk management and a long-term mindset, if you just nibble on shares here and there, um, I think it'll be good long-term because they have a lot of cash on hand. The owner, uh, the CEO cut share buyback so they're even keeping more cash in their pocket because a share buyback is when they buy shares of the company to kind of keep the price afloat, which is a necessarily a good thing. Uh, but they just did this recently. And, they, and, and I feel like they're doing this just to withstand another impairment cost to see if a bank goes down again. Um, so I think it might be a smart move, um, long-term but short-term pain for sure.